Hey everybody, I'm going to show you my AI slash graphics workflow to create a funny meme. Somebody posted a picture of a few sleeping squirrels, and I've never seen a sleeping squirrel, and I imagine 37,000 other people feel the same way. So what I'm going to do is I created a couple of images using Flux, which is part, or Forge actually is the app, which is part of Pinocchio. And this turned out okay, but what I want to do is remove this bong, because it's not very good, and replace it with this one. And then what we're also, and finally we'll take this text here and isolate it using my free website, pixeldatabase.net, and put it all together. So if you want to stick around, that's what I'm going to do. This is called Diffusers Image Fill, and it's part of Pinocchio. So first just install Pinocchio, and then click on Discover, and here it is right here. It should be up to the top because it... It's pretty cool. All right, so, and I'm gonna go ahead and run this. Now, I already have it running. It might take a minute or two for you to start the first time. I'm gonna click on pop out because my vision's not very good and the browser zoom setting is better for me. Click on upload an image. So I'm gonna start with our source image and you're gonna watch me do attempted bad tracing, but I'm gonna try to trace just the outline of the bong generate. Hopefully that does a pretty good job. And then while that's working, we're going to go to my website, which is pixeldatabase.net. I'm going to click on this. And what I'm going to do is just run a query to isolate the text, or at least most of it. And I'm going to turn the color picker on to show you. If you look at the background, the total is pretty low. But the text is about, uh, the total is 676. This is probably a little darker, 597. So the only other really bright spots are like that and the squirrel's white part. But that's really easy to, you know, use paint.net or some other ways. So all we're going to do is just run the query, hide total less than 570. I think that'll leave our text intact. Okay, so that got rid of just about everything. Now, I can use paint.net to do the rest, but while we're here, I'll show you a very quick couple of demos. So if I click right there, you see X is 785. I can just say hide, and on the next line, X greater than 785. But I don't want to do everything. I only want to come down to about here. So on the next line, just say Y less than 695. And that should get rid of all that. Now I could do... One more query, and I'll do the rest in paint.net, but I'll just say hide. And this is just going to be y between, and that'll be 293 and 700. Okay, so the rest I can do in paint.net. I'll just go ahead and download this. I'll call this text. I'm going to open this in paint.net. Well, there's one other thing I wanted to do I forgot to do. Let's go back. I'm going to do one other query, and that is update set color white. Okay. I could have done that in paint.net by increasing the brightness, but that was just as easy. Now we're going to open this up. What I'm going to do here is just add another layer and move the layer down. That way I can just kind of see to, oops, select the right layer here. Just to kind of remove some of this, but the rest of it looks okay. Okay, so now we will delete this layer here. If I can, well, actually I'll just hide it to this line. Okay, and I'm just gonna move this down a little so it's, oops, gotta have the right layer selected. And now I'll just pop this to selection, select it all. Let's go see if our image is done. Hopefully by now it's done. Okay, so you did a pretty good job. Looks the same, just about. They do downsize your image a lot, so we are going to paste this into a new image. We'll just save this as Squirrels 2. Oops. 
And now we're going to use an app upscale. And I'll put the link to this in the description. And that's going to be this one. And upscale. And this will make it a little too big, but that's fine. Okay, so now we're going to go find our upscaled image. I'm going to resize this down to 1920 by 1080. Oh, that's fine. All right, so this is going to be our image. And now we're going to take our text here, create a new layer. Okay, that, the reason I made the text white is it shows up a little better. That's a, uh, let me make that, see if I can stretch that a little bit. Okay, and there's one other thing I want to do. I want to go to this layer and just make it a little darker. By making this a little darker, not a whole lot, but just a little, it makes the text show up a little better, I think. Okay, and now we're gonna add our water pipe. But before I add this, I wanna scale this down just a little. Oh, let's say that's probably plenty, it's probably too big still. Oops. Okay, and add one more layer for our bong. Probably doesn't uh, match too much. I think it needs to be a little smaller for one thing. And we'll see what happens if I brighten that down a little too. It was just supposed to be a little funny meme, so it's not a work of art. So that was my quick video. That was my workflow. I don't know if anybody else will think this is funny, but I wanted to post it before the squirrels go away. All right, well, have a great day. I'm going jogging and peace out.